tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Thank you for uh, tuning in and I'm really having a fantastic time listening to Dr. Cindy Palos and I encourage all of you to listen more. So you were talking about the Aramaic Lord's Prayer earlier and one of the things that is very amazing about it is if you say something as simple as the two lines from that prayer, forgive our secret fears as we freely choose to forgive the secret fears of others. You know, if you just do it for about 108 times this week, maybe the next five days, and do something like write down your experience or the ideas that are coming up, the people who are all of a sudden calling you, who didn't usually call you, you'll be amazed at the power of this affirmative statement or the power of the Lord's prayer. So, this year especially was a hard year and I did three CDs. I'm working on a new one with Father Corral. Mm -hmm. um, and I have another, the, and partly because you've backed it so much, I have an audio book coming out of prayers, affirmations, and meditation. So it's been one of my busiest years ever. And I think part of it is because there's been more of a need this year with COVID-19. You know, if you can help and if you're here to serve and there's a need, you've got to fulfill that. That's, that's you're here to help and do what you can do as long as you can do it. And, um, you know, I figure I'll go till I can't do it anymore. And uh, that's up to God. I don't know when. I mean, like I said, I didn't know if I could even get through the morning, let alone, you know, all doing these things today. But you know, amazing things happen when you just stop thinking about whether you can do it or not, and you just do it. And this year, it's just all come from inspiration. It's come from, this is, you know, and I tell you one thing I've learned. I've learned over the years, inspiration will come, messages will come, gifts will come from God, and I don't shut them off. If I've got a message to follow or um, something important to share, if I say no to it, then I don't get more messages. So as long as I'm getting my messages to share, I'm going to do what I can do to get it out there. And God will help me do it. Peter, <laughs> we are all going to be challenged. And that even in Buddhism and Christianity, um, you will see this. We we all get challenged, and, and life is it's, it's it's hard to accept this. But I mean, if you ever doubted that, first of all, look at, look at this last year, COVID nineteen. My gosh, and it's not over. So you know, we we indeed do sometimes just turn to prayer and seek help when we're challenged and. If you're not challenged, you know, that's okay. You know, I mean, that's fine. But if you are challenged and you haven't really developed a personal relationship with God, I would say just be quiet and, and, and be still and sit and just make friends with your inner soul, with yourself. And you have that inner voice that's always kind of directing and guiding you. You have your inner guardian angels that are always there. You have like an inner friend, your higher self, that's always there waiting to be discovered. Now, once you make friends with your higher self, with your soul, it's one of the most valuable relationships because that soul is there with you lifetime after lifetime, guiding you to fulfill what you are supposed to be doing. And if you just are quiet and you go within and you turn within and go into the silence and you're still, you can just very simply start with breathing and just allow yourself to be open to what you are. And you don't have to do anything but breathe, maybe go into your consciousness within with your heart and just allow yourself to feel like you are receiving anything that may come. And if you do that even for a short amount of time um, and do it on a regular basis, and the way I started, Rev Reg, I started with writing every time after I'd meditate, I'd write every single time. And there's times I've done this every single day of my life since I've been 13. That's how I've been able to do all these books and the CDs. I sometimes have no idea what I'm gonna write. I, 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 but I write anyway. I just start, now I put it on my computer then writing. I put it on my phone 
and I just start with one or two words, maybe something that comes to me. And you know what? That's developing a relationship with your higher self as well. When you write it down, what comes to you, you'd be amazed. I, it's changed my life. And I am guided by those messages that come in the form of poems many times. And that's how I've done my six books and 11 CDs, all from those messages that have come after meditation. Now, that's if you, you know, just try, you'll find that. If you're in need, talk to God. You may not know who you're talking to, but just go within and have a conversation saying, okay, God, I'm here. I need to talk to you. I've got this issue. I need to talk to you. I need some help. And if you do, be open to receive an answer. I believe praying is talking to God, but I believe meditating is listening for the answers. So do your prayers. That's why I do prayers, affirmations, and meditation. Do your prayer, but then be quiet and wait for an answer. Your piece, Music and Poems by Dr. Cindy Palos, it's available in cindypalos.com. So she's actually an ambassador for peace. I'm not sure if that's the official term, but that's one of the things that she does and she actually got recognized for it. And the next one is, this is a rise above abuse because one of the things that she mentioned is that she used to be in an abusive relationship and she's sharing now tools how to elevate your consciousness if you're experiencing the same issue. And here is her latest CD, All In This Together, which she just finished during this pandemic. So I'm amazed at her work ethic that in the middle of what's happening right now, you know, one of the things that she mentioned during the interview, I'm not sure if it was audible enough earlier, was that her sister also passed on. And about the time that this pandemic was happening and having to deal with her family member passing on to the next dimension. She was also to create this CD. Next. So I also want to thank Unity Philippines Spiritual Center, Reverend Florence Monzon, and Benedictine International School who have been generously lending me their facilities in order to do broadcast the last couple of weeks before today where i don't have any choice but to do this broadcast in the apartment and next one please here is uh, the international metaphysical ministry logo where i got my ordination and university of sedona and university of metaphysics you know a lot of the things that we're experiencing especially in terms of the economic meltdown relationship concerns mental health emotional resilience all those things i have gained so much from my university of metaphysics studies and that's why i encourage everyone to visit uh, universityofmetaphysics.com universityofsedona.com and metaphysics next please. invite everyone to take advantage of the scholarship or you, you can refer your friends, family members, or, or colleagues to enroll in the university scholarship program if you are inclined to become a life coach. Or to share some content related to metaphysics, I highly suggest that you have a very strong foundation with University of Metaphysics, metaphysics as your uh, school for it. Next. And I also would like to thank Jennifer Hill, Dr. Anita Powell, Dr. Diana Vihuni, and Dr. Yolanda Dukes for guesting in the show. And I encourage everyone to visit their website for Jennifer Hill. It's meta metaphysics.com or 101spiritualtools.com. And uh, Anita Caprice, uh, that's uh, anitacaprice.com and dianavihuni.com and perspectivemetaphysics.com So for any of you who would like to check on life coaching, meditation, past life regression, or be tap into you, which is the movement that Dr. Anita is actually a founder of, 
I suggest that you visit their websites. So for today, folks, and I just want to invite everyone for a simple prayer of protection so that we can all have an amazing time before going to bed. Or good morning to our friends in other parts of the globe and good afternoon. And may this prayer of protection in food So let's close our eyes. Take a few deep breaths. We release to God anything that is making us anxious, that is trying to get our attention from God's power and presence within us. We release it to the Almighty for clearing. And together, let's affirm the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. You may gently open your eyes. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Dax Dean. And thank you, Dr. Cindy Palos, my co-producers, Sir Charlie and Sir Rolly, V81 Radio. Thank you so much, everyone, for your presence and your contribution to make this show as enjoyable and as informative as possible. I am Reverend Reg. I am your host for Practical Magic. And remember, you're the magic that you've been waiting for. See you again next week. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on V81 Radio, Manila.